what our fridge looks like right now. Very empty. We are in desperate need of groceries. Hello everybody, it's Lila and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a- I don't chipmunk. Oh, are you saying chipmunk? Yeah. Oh. Today's video is going to be a giant grocery haul. <laughs> Why do I even bother trying? We're going to do a massive grocery trip because we haven't bought groceries in like three weeks. So I'm also gonna be sharing some tips on how we budget groceries. Budget, but we don't really budget. How we spend our money in a smart way rather than just buying a bunch of things. I also have a few tips on how to make grocery shopping a little bit more affordable. We're just about to go. We're actually running a little bit late, so I gotta make this speedy. But the first thing that I do before I go grocery shopping is I make a list of all the meals I wanna eat in the next two weeks. I'll show you mine for example. So this is what we're gonna be eating for suppers in the next few weeks. This list actually includes lunches because I usually make enough so that we have leftovers for the next day. Breakfast, we usually just have staples like oatmeal and toast and eggs, just like basic things. So we've got supper ideas, I also have some snack ideas, and then I have my list. The point of making a list of meal ideas is that you'll be able to look at your meal idea list and look at all the ingredients that you're gonna need to make all those, and then write down all the ingredients that you don't already have at home. And the key to making this work is to buy only what's on your list. Do not go into all the other aisles that you don't need to go into because you'll be tempted to go and buy all the other snacky things that you don't don't actually need. Those snacky things are really expensive and so it's best to avoid them as much as possible. The way that we do grocery shopping is we go to Costco first. We have a membership there. We love it there. It's cheaper to buy in bulk. So we get a lot of stuff there and then the stuff that we can't get there we get at either Walmart or co-op or just like another smaller place. So what I've been doing the last month or so to save time is using the Walmart pickup. I know in the US they have like Walmart delivery services and stuff for groceries, but we're a bit limited here in Canada and we don't have that kind of stuff. We do have grocery pickups. All we have to do is drive to Walmart, call them, they'll come bring our groceries out to us. It's amazing, saves so much time. We don't even have to get out of the vehicle, so we've been taking advantage of that. Walmart has an app and then you just go to grocery and then you pick out everything you wanna buy you add it to your cart, you pay for it right here online so you don't even have to pay when you go to pick it up. It's great. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're going to go to Walmart to pick up the groceries that I ordered from there. And then we're gonna go to Costco and hopefully be there when it opens. We are running a little bit late so I'll share a few more tips later, but for now, let's go grocery shopping. That's the one? It's the ugliest one. The ugliest one, that's your strategy. some unexpected errors this morning. We ended up buying a crib and a crib mattress to replace the one that we already have. Anyways, while I have a moment to spare, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my budgeting tips. Now we don't budget our groceries. We don't buy the cheapest things. I'm sure we could do things a whole lot cheaper than we do, but this is just how we do it. First things first is buy in bulk. If you are able to invest in a deep freeze, it will change the way that you grocery shop and it is the best. We have a deep freeze. We actually got one as a wedding gift and I know lots of you guys have asked like why do we buy so much bread? Where do we store it and how does it not go bad? We store it all in our deep freeze. We buy a ton of bread at Costco, buns, bagels, everything, and we store it in our deep freeze as well as meats. We divide the meats up into portions for meals and then we freeze them. If I have any extra leftovers from like a casserole or like a noodle dish or something, I'll store it in the deep freeze and then we have freezer meals ready for another day. It's fantastic. It's a time saver. It's a money saver. If you can, invest in one of those. We also have a cold storage where we store a lot of of like non-perishable food items. So whenever something is on sale that we often use, for example, like crackers, cans of soups, whatever, we will buy a bunch of them and then store them in there. And over time, it just saves a lot of money and it's nice to have it on hand. If you live in a small space and you don't have room for extra storage, like a bigger pantry or like a cabinet where you could put extra food, these tips might not work for you, but this is what we do. We buy in bulk, we purchase when things are on sale and then we keep them for a later date. My second tip is if you have a Dollar Tree near you, 
go check it out and see if they have bread. Our local Dollar Tree gets bread shipments like almost every day of the week. They sell the exact same breads, expensive breads that you would find at any other grocery store for a fraction of the price. I can buy my regular loaf of bread for $1.25 at my local Dollar Tree versus $6 at Costco. Over time, that's gonna save us a lot of money. <sighs> it's getting really hot in here. My fourth tip is to have a certain day of the week that you go grocery shopping. There are some stores, like I think Save On Foods does 15% off the first Tuesday bless you of every month try and plan a grocery trip wherever is most convenient or money saving for you for us we go every Thursday or Friday and every other week we do the big like Costco trip and then every other week in between we just go to like co-op and get a few of the necessities that we're running low on when you make your list for your grocery trip try your best to think of everything that you possibly need something I actually want to start doing is creating an inventory of the things that we have on a regular basis so that I can just go to that I can see if we have any of it and if we don't then I will add it to my list that way I am less likely to forget something because when you're trying to make supper and you realize that you don't have something you end up going to the store maybe purchasing something that's more expensive or end up buying more things that you don't really need my fifth and final tip is to not purchase a lot of snacky items lots of prepackaged items those prepackaged salads may be convenient and delicious but they are so expensive and all those snacky items are really expensive as well if you can manage to just like make snacks at home apples and peanut butter veggies and dip things like that are easy but less expensive also they're a lot healthier than eating a lot of processed foods anyways that's all for my tips let's get into the grocery haul all right so this is our massive grocery haul I feel like we've had bigger also toilet paper <laughs> i feel like we've had bigger hauls before but this is everything this is a mixture of walmart stuff of costco stuff and i'll go over it and show you what it all is i was gonna get eloise to come and help me do this but she is currently having a nap we got back a lot later than we thought we would I'm, i guess i'm just gonna do this solo i guess theo's joining me he's down there <laughs> starting off the costco stuff this is where we buy most of our bread so things that we can put in the freezer things that we can put in the pantry so non-perishable food items and just items that we eat a lot of i love this natural peanut butter by kirkland it is delicious and obviously it doesn't go bad for a very long time so we stick the extra one into storage until we need it next up is ketchup these also come in twos from Costco and we eat a lot of ketchup. More like Zach and Eloise eat a lot of ketchup. Next up is mayo. Again, we go through a lot of this, but I use it to make dips and salads and like all kinds of stuff. Cheese, this is the best cheese. We've been buying it for years and years. Way cheaper at Costco than anywhere else. It's a little bit of a slurge because it's that delicious. We got a big thing of yogurts. These are on sale. We'll go between the Activia and the Kirkland brand because they taste exactly the same. We got a big thing of cereal. Zach is pretty much the only one who eats this. We got our bagels. These are the everything bagels from Costco. They are delicious and cheap. We got a big bag of buns from Costco. Again, we divide these into individual bags and freeze them. These are the Italian ciabatta buns. They are super cheap. I get these frozen broccoli packs from Costco. I think there's like, yeah, there's four packs in here. And all you do is you stick it in the microwave. You don't even have to like take the broccoli out of the pack. So it's really easy when we don't have any veggies in the house. That goes in the deep freeze. Got some margarine. We got a big thing of quick oats from Costco. Always loves her oatmeal in the morning. Zach as well. So we go through a lot of this stuff. Another thing we go through a lot of eggs. And these also stay good for a really long time. Got a mini watermelon. I'm going to make a watermelon feta mint salad. It is so good. If you guys have never had that combination before, I suggest you try it because it's delicious. We got grape tomatoes. This is going to be for a fresh spaghetti dish. And then some mushrooms. This next item kind of counts, kind of doesn't count. It's a giant thing of pork. We're going to make pork chops out of this for my dad's birthday, which is tonight. But again, we cut this up and put it into separate bags and then put it in the deep freeze and it lasts us a long time. Our current favorite fruit right now is grapes. I've never tried this before, but I do like to have some snacky things on hand. I'm not even going to try pronouncing it, but it's a deluxe chocolate trail mix. Not the cheapest one, but I wanted to try it. And lastly from Costco, we got the chimichangas. I really like to have some kind of microwave meal in the deep freeze at all times. For those, occasional lunches or occasional suppers when we just don't have anything in the house those come in really handy <laughs> that's everything from costco and then from the dollar tree we got some bread so i got three loaves i really love the silver hills brand this is the stuff i buy normally from costco but i can get it so much cheaper at the dollar tree they only had two loaves left so i got those and then i got another brand it's not as healthy or clean but 
it's bread and it's cheap and then lastly the stuff from walmart this is all the stuff that we can't get from costco because costco has large portions so on items that we need smaller portions we go to a local store like walmart or co-op from walmart i got some mint i've been making lime mint water and it's delicious and then some basil for that spaghetti dish i was talking about i got some minced garlic i use this it's just so much faster than regular garlic i got some cream cheese i make a veggie dip out of this and it's delicious some celery we are gonna get carrots but they were actually out of stock so carrots are going to go onto our list for next week they're also out of their like big packs of romaine so i got half iceberg and half romaine instead we got some cucumbers paprika spaghetti this is another thing that we usually buy in bulk and then keep in the cold storage but I just bought a smaller pack this time. Got some sour cream and some feta. This is for that watermelon feta salad. So excited. We've been drinking less curried coffee and more ground coffee, pot coffee. We like the McDonald's stuff. A lot better than Folgers or Maxwell and still on the more affordable side. And lastly, I needed some baby shampoo for the kids. I'm gonna try the Honest Shampoo and Body Wash in the lavender scent. Also, I totally forgot to mention that we also got milk for Zach because he's the only one who drinks it. This little man is getting hungry, so I'm gonna go feed him. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found some inspiration from this video. Maybe learned a couple little tips along the way. If you guys have any like grocery budgeting tips, comment them down below. I'd love to know, and I'm sure everybody else watching would love to know as well. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.